Hey there, science fans! Have you ever wondered how we can grow fresh, delicious food all year round, even in the middle of winter? The answer is greenhouses. They're like magic gardens that let us grow food anywhere, anytime. Greenhouses are super important for the future of food. With more people on the planet, we need to find smart ways to grow more food using less land and resources. Greenhouses help us do just that. These structures act like protective bubbles for plants, shielding them from harsh weather and pests. Inside a greenhouse, farmers can control the temperature, light, and water to create the perfect growing environment. By using technology and clever design, we're making greenhouses even better. Get ready to explore the amazing world of greenhouses and discover how they're shaping the future of food. Building a greenhouse is like putting together a puzzle, but instead of cardboard pieces, we're using sunlight, building materials, and a dash of science. Each piece has its own unique role, and when they all come together, they create a thriving environment for plants. The first step is picking the right design. It's like choosing the shape of your puzzle. The design you choose will determine how well your greenhouse functions and how it fits into your available space. We've got options like the classic even span greenhouse, perfect for sunny backyards. This design is great for maximizing sunlight exposure and is relatively easy to construct. Need more space? The Gothic arch design is strong and spacious, its curved roof allows for more headroom and better air circulation, making it ideal for larger plants and more extensive gardening projects. And for those windy areas the Quonset greenhouse stands firm. Its semi-circular shape is not only aerodynamic but also provides excellent structural integrity against strong winds. Next, we need to find the perfect spot. Just like a puzzle needs to be built on a flat surface, greenhouses need a good foundation. A level ground ensures stability and proper drainage which are crucial for the longevity of your greenhouse. But more importantly, we want to soak up as much sunlight as possible. Positioning your greenhouse to capture maximum sunlight throughout the day is essential for the growth and health of your plants. Speaking of sunlight, the covering of our greenhouse is key. The material you choose for the covering will affect light transmission, insulation, and durability. Glass lets in tons of light but it can be pricey. It's also heavier and more fragile, requiring a sturdier frame to support it. Polycarbonate is strong and affordable, offering good insulation and light diffusion. It's also more impact-resistant than glass, making it a popular choice for many gardeners. While polyethylene is lightweight and budget-friendly, it's easy to install and replace, though it may not last as long as other materials. Choosing the right material is like picking the perfect picture for your puzzle. It completes the masterpiece. Each material has its pros and cons, so consider your specific needs and budget to make the best choice for your greenhouse. Let's talk about the star of the show sunlight. Plants need sunlight to make food through a process called photosynthesis. It's like their very own superpower. In a greenhouse, we can make the most of this natural energy source. The orientation of our greenhouse is like angling a solar panel for maximum exposure. By facing the long side of the greenhouse towards the south, we maximize the amount of sunlight that enters throughout the day. But what about those cloudy days or short winter days? Don't worry, we've got that covered too. By using supplemental lighting, like energy-efficient LEDs, we can give our plants the extra boost of light they need to thrive year-round. Remember, sunlight is a plant's best friend. By harnessing its power effectively we can grow more food and reduce our reliance on artificial energy sources. It's a win-win for both our plants and the planet. Get ready to enter the world of high-tech greenhouses where sensors and computers work together to create the perfect growing environment. It's like having a team of tiny robots tending to your plants. Imagine this. Sensors placed throughout the greenhouse keep a watchful eye on everything from temperature and humidity to light levels and soil moisture. These sensors are like the eyes and ears of the greenhouse, constantly gathering information about the plant's needs. But what good is information without action? That's where the automated systems come in. They take the data from the sensors and adjust the environment accordingly. If the temperature gets too high, the system automatically opens vents or turns on fans for cooling. Too dry? The irrigation system kicks in to give the plants a refreshing drink. With these high-tech helpers, farmers can ensure their crops are always living their best lives. Section 5. The Perfect Climate Controlling the Environment Inside a greenhouse we become masters of the elements. We have the power to create an ideal environment for our plants no matter what the weather is like outside. 
we can control the temperature, humidity, and even the air our plants breathe. This level of control allows us to optimize growing conditions and ensure our plants thrive. It's like having a superpower to create the perfect climate. Imagine being able to adjust the weather to suit your plants' needs at any given moment. To keep things cozy in the winter, we use heating systems that can run on renewable energy sources like geothermal energy or biomass. These systems are not only efficient but also environmentally friendly. And when the summer sun beats down, cooling systems like evaporative coolers or shade cloths keep the temperature just right. This ensures that our plants are never too hot or too cold. Humidity is another important factor. Maintaining the right level of humidity is crucial for plant health and growth. Too much humidity can lead to fungal diseases, while too little can stunt plant growth. It's a delicate balance that requires constant monitoring and adjustment. That's why greenhouses use humidifiers or dehumidifiers to maintain the perfect moisture balance in the air. These devices help us create a stable environment where plants can flourish. We can even control the levels of carbon dioxide, which plants need for photosynthesis. By managing CO2 levels, we can enhance the photosynthesis process and promote healthier, faster-growing plants. By adding CO2 to the greenhouse, we can boost plant growth and increase yields. This is especially beneficial for crops that require high levels of CO2 to reach their full potential. It's like giving our plants a supercharged energy drink. With all these tools at our disposal, we can create the perfect environment for our plants to thrive and produce bountiful harvests. Section 6. Water-wise hydroponics and efficient irrigation. Let's dive into the fascinating world of hydroponics, where plants can grow without soil. It's like something out of a science fiction movie. In a hydroponic system, plants get their nutrients directly from a water-based solution, eliminating the need for soil altogether. This method has some amazing advantages. It uses significantly less water than traditional farming because the water is recirculated and reused. Plus, there's no need for pesticides or herbicides making it a much more sustainable way to grow food. But even in greenhouses with soil, we can be water-wise by using efficient irrigation techniques like drip irrigation. This method delivers water directly to the roots of the plants, minimizing evaporation and water waste. By using these innovative methods, we can conserve water and grow more food with less, which is essential for a sustainable future. Section 7. Bugs Be Gone. Sustainable Pest Management. Even in the controlled environment of a greenhouse, pesky insects can sometimes find their way in. But instead of reaching for harmful chemical pesticides, we can fight back with sustainable pest management techniques. One effective method is using beneficial insects. These tiny warriors are like the good guys of the insect world, preying on the pests that can harm our crops. It's a natural and environmentally friendly way to keep pest populations in check. Another strategy is called Integrated Pest Management, or IPM. It's like a holistic approach to pest control that considers the entire ecosystem of the greenhouse. By monitoring pest populations, using preventative measures, and choosing pest-resistant plant varieties, we can minimize the need for any pesticides at all. Remember, a healthy ecosystem is a balanced ecosystem. By working with nature, we can protect our crops and the environment at the same time. Section 8. Energy, Efficiency, Saving Money, Saving the Planet. Imagine a greenhouse that generates its own energy. This isn't just a dream, it's a tangible reality that we can achieve with the right approach and technology. Well, with a little ingenuity and a dash of technology, we can make that vision a reality. By integrating advanced systems, we can create greenhouses that are not only self-sufficient but also highly efficient. Energy efficiency is a top priority in modern greenhouse design, and for good reason. Efficient energy use means lower costs and a smaller environmental impact. One way to reduce energy consumption is by using passive heating and cooling techniques. These methods harness natural energy flows to maintain optimal temperatures without excessive energy use. We can orient the greenhouse to maximize solar gain in the winter, capturing the sun's warmth when it's needed most. This simple yet effective strategy can significantly reduce heating costs and use natural ventilation to keep things cool in the summer. By allowing fresh air to circulate, we can avoid the need for energy-intensive cooling systems. But for those times when we need a little extra help, we can rely on renewable energy sources like solar panels, wind turbines, or geothermal energy. 
These systems provide a steady supply of clean energy. These technologies provide clean, sustainable power that reduces our reliance on fossil fuels. By tapping into renewable resources, we can ensure a more sustainable future. By investing in energy-efficient technologies, we not only save money on operating costs, but we also make a long-term investment in sustainability, but we also reduce our carbon footprint and protect the environment. Every step towards energy efficiency is a step towards a healthier planet. It's a win-win situation for both our wallets and the planet. By embracing these technologies, we can create a more sustainable and cost-effective future for greenhouse farming. Section 9. The Future is Green Sustainable Food for All As we've seen, greenhouses are more than just glass structures filled with plants. They represent a sustainable solution to one of the world's most pressing challenges, how to feed a growing population while protecting our planet. By harnessing the power of technology, innovation, and a deep respect for nature, we can create greenhouses that are both highly productive and environmentally responsible. Imagine a future where fresh, locally grown food is available to everyone, year-round, regardless of climate or location. That's the promise of greenhouses. By embracing these incredible tools, we can create a brighter, greener, and more delicious future for generations to come. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and never stop believing in the power of science to change the world.